Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 6, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades in my portfolio are available in the link down below. So I have included uh, the Japanese Nikkei as part of uh, this analysis. Usually I um, anal uh, make uh, analysis on Nasdaq. S&P, Dow Jones, and the DAX, but now I've included also the Nikkei uh, in this analysis. So let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the, the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we are, in general for the market, uh, especially the tech market, it's not as, uh, it's not as bad as uh, for, for example, the Dow Jones and so on. So tech has been been fairly stable today. We are um, down a bit, but not that much. We went all the way down towards 11.3k uh, and have rallied up towards the 20 simple moving average. Um, doesn't really mean that doesn't mean that much. We're still in the downtrend, and as long as the 20 and 50 and the 200 are acting as major resistant, this will buyer sellers will most likely just come in and sell it every time we see a minor rally in this market. So we are testing the, we have tested the 20 simple moving average broke down, but as you can see, we have tested this area here three times in the last few trading days. Um, and we have not managed to break down to the previous lows here. It's probably just a matter of time until that happens. If we were to break above the 20 simple moving average, then we have the 50 moving average right here. And if we break above that, then we need to break above the bottom here and also this level here, which is basically around the same level, roughly 12.8 towards a 13.1 K. If we do that, then we may go and test the 200 moving average, which is moving in this direction. There is quite a big distance between the 50 and the 200 moving average. And that's uh, an indication that we have been dropping really fast. And usually when that happens, we see rallies like this. So. In the coming weeks or probably months, we'll probably see a rally of 10, 15% to the upside and then continue to the downside. We are not that low in the RSI, so then we could see this market continuing uh, dropping. But at the moment, 50 moving average, we will most likely get rejected there. If we break above here, then we have this, um, this resistant area here that we will most likely run into major resistance. And after that, the 200 moving average is the other possibility is basically the best outcome worst medium and best outcome breaking above the 200 then we are most likely going to look um, at a different scenario where um, the economy basically turns around or and the market in general turns around but we're not there uh, yet breaking below this level here and then we are looking at the much lower levels we can see that the lows here of October, September in 2020 is what we're testing right now, where we found major support. After that, it's most likely the highs prior to the drop here of the due to the coronavirus. That's down at 9.7K if we basically get there. But outlook for the world economy is horrible at this point. And, and um, as long as that is the case, these markets will just continue selling off. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish in negative territory, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So S&P 500, as you can see, it's all is doing far worse than the Nasdaq. We are down in the S&P where we are here, 1.2%. Uh, uh, Nasdaq is up 0.31% at this current stage, and uh, at the moment we are having a bit of a rally in the S&P 500. Minus 1.14%. 14, so we were all the way down here at the 3.7K, uh, 3 and then we had a minor rally. Ran into major resistance at the 20 simple moving average, and we can see that we have tested it several times now in the in recent uh, days. 50 moving average just above. Um, if we were to rally up here, we'll most likely find major resistance. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we have this area here, which should offer major resistance as well. So that will be the next target. And after that, the 200 moving average will most likely come into play where we'll 
uh, most likely I'll find the major resistance breaking above here and then we most likely have a turning in the market if we break below the lows here then we are looking at a lower low and we have to go far back in and find where we most likely find a major um, support and it is basically the highest year of september 2020 that is down at the 3.5k uh, and after that the previous highs here prior to the ground was 3.3 the k to the downside so in general we are basically dropping and dropping really fast at this current stage and it's probably just a matter of time if we rally that will find resistant and um, sellers will come back in and sell this to the downside if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is still bullish but it is turning around stochastic has turned around across the signal line indicating bearish momentum and the rsi is bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the downside in the rsi in the, in the daily chart so let's look at the dow jones this just got um really hammered early in the session we dropped all the way down to uh, 30k and then rallied and now we're trading at 30.6k so 20 simple moving average is where we find, found major resistance 50 moving average is trading here at the 31.9k and we also have an uh, area right around this here where we'll also find major resistance around 32.4k up towards the 33k then we have the 200 moving average moving in this direction, which at this current stage is trading at the 34.2K. And yes, we are dropping really fast and rallies like this one of 10, 15% rally, those will occur. We have seen one right here. We did also see one right here and those will occur uh, while the market will is dropping. It can't just get, go straight down, it has to go basically in wave pattern and um, people are looking at where will entry points and usually entry points are where we find major assistance at this point 20 simple 50 200 are areas or where usually or where the market has pulled back we can see it here see it here also here and now we're testing the 20 simple moving average and also getting rejected there so if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, bullish in negative territory stochastic has crossed the signal line and getting bearish momentum rsi is bearish and and at this current stage yes momentum is definitely to the downside we need if we break below uh, 90 uh, uh, 29.6 k then we are mostly going to go much lower because this is basically the the highs of uh, prior to the coronavirus after that we're mostly looking at the 26.1 and even lower than that to 22.8 and, and lower so yes let's go and look at the japanese nikkei as you can see we are also down here roughly half a percent and uh, we found resist uh, support down here at uh, around 25.8k 50 moving average 200 moving average have offered massive um, resistant and we have basically broken down every time we get towards those uh, moving averages we have been in a downtrend in the Nikkei for quite a time, uh, quite a long time. Maybe we can go all the way back towards uh, the beginning of uh, 2021, uh, and not and probably January uh, this year was basically where we topped. But we have been in a steady decline in the Nikkei for for a really long time. So I'll just get rid of that line. So the japanese yen has also been depreciating against the dollar and and uh, other currencies and that of course helps the uh, an exporting uh, the economy as the as the japanese and uh, and therefore uh, this market has probably been more resilient towards uh, breaking down but it is still bringing down it's still in a downturn but it's just taking a lot more time so when we get to these areas of massive resistant and uh, this is a good example where we have a shooting star here it's just a matter of waiting and holding this uh, uh, far for longer compared to other indices as it tends to move much slower so at this point we are in a uh, area of highs here uh, roughly you can see a double top here of uh, 28.4 and kind of bottom down here so this is kind of an outlier 
a bottom here of 25.6. So we're getting very close to the bottom. So you may see this market, um, so you see it similar to this, that we may rally up towards the highs here. If we break below the 25.6, and then we have the outline here of a 24.5. And after that, this market just completely falls apart. But at the moment, it is very resilient. It is uh, uh, staying within roughly within this range. Um, breaking above uh, 28.4, and then we are looking at 29.3 and beyond that. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and RSI is bearish. So uh, at the moment, momentum is to the downside. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we break below here. So let's look at the German DAX, and of course, U European economies are really struggling, and and you can see it on uh, the indices as well. So we kind of broken through the bottom here, and um, the question is, we we are most likely going to get a rally in, in the next few trading days. If you look at uh, one hour chart, for example, it is no, not one hour chart. We can look at the four hour chart. You can see that we are way at the bottom of the Bullinger band, and we are also significantly, um, significantly oversold at this point. So, a rally up towards the 20 simple moving average, and that is probably what we're going to see in the next few hours. Um, but it is tumbling mainly to the fact that um, Europe has a problem with inflation. It is definitely a problem with um, with energy, and uh, this winter or the coming winter. Is definitely going to be really hard for uh, European economies. So, so going forward, we'll most likely uh, see European economies getting hammered and uh, this going much, much lower. It is also oversold in the daily chart in RSI, and technical indicators are very negative. The next uh, target here will most likely be the lows of uh, back in 20. Um, it, this is basically in October in 2020, and that is 11.4k. So that is probably the, where we'll find uh, major support um, next. After that is the lows here, are roughly 10.2, and then the very bottom here of 8.2, if we get to that point. But it's not looking good, and, and these problems are most likely going to be long term, and therefore. And DAX will probably um, drop significantly from where we are at this point. If we were to rally, then the 20 simple moving average is at 13.2k. You have the 50 moving average here at 13.7k, and the 200 moving average right here at 14.8k. Don't really see uh, this market going uh, above the 200 moving average anytime soon. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX has rallied up up towards the 50 moving average and then gave most of those gains back. And yes, that is that is an, a positive sign kind of for, for the market. So we may see a rally in the next few trading days as um, it, it looks like we are going to test the 200 moving average uh, yet again. If we drop towards the 200 moving average, then we'll most likely bounce from there as we have been bouncing up the 200 moving average for a really long time now. So we most likely see something similar to this and kind of making a um, lower high and at, uh, at the same time. But given the uncertainty in the world of the economy and the forecasts that are really dire as well, volatility will most likely increase going forward and, and therefore sell-offs will be more common. So if you look at the US 10 year, the yields are basically falling off a cliff at this current stage. And uh, we are going to test major support down here. It kind of looks like it. You're not that far off. And that is around 20 cent, 20 point, uh, uh, 2.7. Uh, if that breaks, then it opens the door to the 200 moving average all the way down here. So we'll most likely uh, bounce from the 200 moving average if uh, if that is the case. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.